guys, T here from T Street Wellness. I just wanted to come to you with a quick little video. Um, Finn and I are kind of housebound for the interim here. I'm post-surgical day five and I can't do any lifting or anything like that, but I can bake. So I got a lot of time on my hands. It's snowy outside um, and kind of slick. So we're just hanging out at home doing some fun craft projects. And I've been wanting to try one of my favorite recipes and clean it up. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to put together here and then I'm going to try it. Um, I'm trying a recipe with coconut flour and it's always kind of a toss up. Coconut flour is very absorbent um, and very coarse. So it looks like a fine powder, but when you're mixing things with it, sometimes it gets really gloppy and thick. So the key to it is to add more liquids. Um, and make sure that you're balancing um, that very absorbent nature of it to counteract getting a really thick, heavy flour. Um, I, the recipe that I'm using calls for self-rising flour, so I've added a little bit more baking soda, baking powder, and salt to counteract um, and create that self-rising flour. You can do this with regular flour as well. There's lots of recipes online. So um, I just added a little bit of the salt, baking powder, baking soda to the actual coconut flour. And then I have substituted white sugar with maple syrup to make that a clean ingredient. Um, I've substituted all of the eggs for egg whites just to make it a little healthier and have a little less cholesterol. I did use one of the egg yolks in there. Um, two bananas and then I used coconut oil instead of it called for butter so um, all of these liquid ingredients the maple uh, maple syrup the coconut oil all will be very good to help counteract that dry nature of the coconut flour I'm hoping so I've been warned against using this um, for these type of recipes, but we're making a nice banana bread, one of my favorite recipes, one of Chris's favorite recipes. So I'm just gonna show you, I have the egg and banana mixture here. I just mashed two really, really ripe bananas, and added the egg mixture in. Um, and then in another bowl, I have the maple syrup and the coconut oil. And then I'm gonna be adding it to that flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt mixture. So I'm gonna mix all of that together. And then I have little mini loaf pans that I've already put coconut oil spray in um, so that they'll be nice and easy to pop out when they're done. I set the oven to 350. It says for a regular baking loaf pan, uh, 45 minutes. So I'm imagining it's probably gonna be about half that time. Um, but I'll keep you posted and I'll put the recipe below in the comment section. And also um, I'll let you know if it's an epic, epic fail or if it's an epic uh, Pinterest pin. So. Hope you guys will enjoy this recipe. I think it's going to be a good one, and I will let you know how it goes. Thanks for tuning in.